a motion to accept the bid from Advanced Land and Water in the sum of $3,242 related to the annual inspection with a three-year contract mm. period. Yep. Motion is being made by Commissioner Buckman. No. Is there a second? I'll second <clears throat> it. Right. But I'm Mr. O'Donnell, I'm sorry. I was looking at Commissioner Buckman. But I'll second it. Second Thank by you. Commissioner Buckman. Any more um, questions before we vote? No. No, sir. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. We got a lot of stuff tonight. <laughs> Great. All righty. Item number five, approval of the town square kiosk. Okay, so when I was first hired here, one of the first things that um, a resident came up and talked to me about was the kiosk panel um, on the square and also the one at the Maryland Visitor Center. Um, a lot of the information is outdated, and most of the re or most of the businesses that are shown on there are unfortunately no longer in business. So, um, with the help of Visit Frederick, they gave us a five thousand dollar grant, and the EBPA. Um, of Emmitsburg, thank you, Wayne Slaughter. Um, they gave us $300. We were able to make this possible, and we reached out to Ion Design, and um, here's Ruth. <laughs> Hi, yes. everyone. Nice Can to you be here. You state your name and your Ruth Bellabach. I'm from Ion Design, 584 Shookstown Road, Frederick, Maryland. In the lake. Amy, or Amy, you're going to get the lake. <laughs> So have you all had some time to take a look at uh, an electronic version of the kiosk? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've also brought a black and white printout that kind of shows it to you at 100% scale. I think it's helpful as well. Mm -hmm. Can you show the people in the back? So I'm happy to, to answer any questions or uh, comments that you have. I'd also like to thank um, Wayne on giving us all these great photos. Um, also to Ronald Ardis, he was the one who gave us this beautiful um, large photo on the bottom. So we yeah, do credit is, him. Which is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So what we try to do here is we try to um, really rein in on eight of our um, large ass assets that we have in the, the town, which is Rainbow Lake, the Emmitsburg Multi-User Trails, the Community Pool, the Frederick County Fire Museum, the Doughboy, the National Fa Fallen Firefighters Memorial, the Seton Shrine, and the Grotto, which you can see a little closer here on the screen. <coughs> As you can see, we're going to replace the two um, panels that we currently have, and our hope is that we can attract some visitors that go to the visitor center and maybe come to the pool for a day or, you know, stop at our businesses and eat, spend a little money. I'm also working with Rudders. Um, Rudders has agreed to uh, put one at their location also. So hopefully we can get some truckers over here or some people getting gas. It'd be nice if we had some directional signs in town that would lead to these places also. Mm -hmm. On a side note, sorry. <coughs> Mr. President, just yes. Uh, Ruth is with the firm has designed our wayside signs, and that's why okay. the continuity connection of a uh, it's good flow. You've done a great job. Ruth. Thank you. I, I, oh, I love your work. It's <clears throat> Thank you very much. Nice, nice picture. <laughs> Does anybody have any problems or any questions they have on the uh, as of the kiosk as presented? I I do, but you do too, Mr. Ritz. You, you Mr. Ritz. Um, yes, I just I know we have um, we're limited in space in the parks, 
So we have like our little symbols for baseball and yes. uh, playgrounds. And this might be more directed to town staff. Um, are we, are, why are we excluding the playground for Memorial Park? We just have a bunch of ball player figures there. We have, we, I mean, it, it's a small playground, but it's, it's still a playground. We can put a symbol there. Okay. For the playground. If you'd the like. The question of ADA compliance, or was that a concern, or just not? <clears throat> no, it wasn't a concern. It's just it was kind of busy there. There's a lot of uh, baseball fields because there's four fields there. Do we need to actually put a baseball symbol for each field? I think we we could get away with two, to be frank. I mean, one inside the circuit, one outside the circuit, like east and west, so to speak. That's, that's fair. Is that reasonable? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. I mean, if it, yeah. I, uh, or would you just go with one? It's it's reason. No, I, I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But do you want it to be accurate? Because if we if we make it accurate, then yes, I agree. It would be pretty busy with a um, another symbol in there. So one inside and one outside. Pads in there either. The Let circular. me uh, go back here. I'm over here. The walking trails. The walking trails that have all those exercise equipment that That's should right be on. Here. Is it on the map? I don't see it. No. So in the community wa- park, it's not listed. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know where I'm talking about there? Might be nice to put a little picnic area sign or for your pavilion and. You got it. And or two. One on the inside. The commissioner Donald said, and one on the outside. Yeah, there there is a nice little picnic area there in the bathroom. Okay. I, so you I can do add have that. one. I do have one question. We have a nice bathroom on that side. It does not get open much now because there's no hardly any baseball going on. Over there, does the town open that up during the daytime? Which on one? Memorial Park. Behind the post office. Is that open during the daytime from 8 to 4? No. Can we have that open now since we don't have any more little league anymore? Can we have staff open and close it when they come in just during our regular business hours? Vandalized. I think there's a port there's a porta pot over there now. It was oh, getting okay. vandalized. We spent a lot of money to get these bathrooms fixed, and that's why they're locked between 8 and 4. And the only time they're unlocked is when people rent the reds or reserve the pavilions because we had people that had reserved the pavilions come in to a destroyed bathroom. Oh, okay. It wasn't fair to them. So I'll, ta- I'll discuss it with staff and see um, if there's anything that can be done. But that's the reason why they're not unlocked. Been pretty gnarly. Is the porta potty being used? They just, as far as I know, they just came in. Just with the weather. Okay. They just came in, I think, this maybe today. Oh, well, wow. okay. Last, early last week. Mr. Sweeney, are you asking if, if we want to put a bathroom icon there? Is that what your interest is? Well, they're not opening it during daytime unless you rent the pavilion for picnic area, and we usually didn't, I mean, don't you rent that area. I mean, you put a pavilion area. sign, but I wouldn't put a bathroom sign. Okay, I would, yeah, that would be, I think there would be value to the pavilion sign for there and in the park. And and, sorry, in community park. Just to continue, unless any, everyone else is agreeable to it, if, if we're going to keep it for baseball fields for accuracy's sake, would, would it be? Would it get lost if we put the playground where it actually is, so it would actually be right below where it says memorial, basically? Sure. Because it's like in that corner where the M's at, correct? With the one playground? Yeah. We can move that text. Off a little bit. I mean, you could offset that up since you have fewer icons in the circuit there. Well, we don't have a pavilion symbol in in the. Um, we don't right now. And we have that. I guess it's a little amphitheater, or whatever you call that, for bands and concerts. Yeah. But that's not there either. Over in the community park, yeah. That gets a little busy up at that end then too, though. Yeah, I hear you. And the, o- the only other question that I had, just a little confused, we have um, over on the r- right-hand side, we have the, so eight items. The second one down on the right was the, is the Frederick County Fire and Rescue Museum. And it's referenced as the National Fire Heritage Center. Are, are, are they two separate 
items. Where? So on the map. I see what you're saying. Uh, northwest of the farmer's market, right behind where the town office is at. Mm -hmm. It says National Fire Heritage Center. And then over on the right-hand side, it's the Frederick County Fire and Rescue Museum. I know it's the same thing, but it might cause confusion. I'm not sure. And, and I have a question. Right. Also, um, I heard from a couple of different people that the fire museum may be closing. No. No? Is it going to stay open? If, if I may, the fire yeah. museum is staying open. We're having a uh, opening this weekend. It'll be open on the weekends. Yeah. yeah but the, the Heritage Center, which I am a trustee, is... Um, is moving the archives <laughs> over to the Vigil and Hose Ambulance building. And oh, okay. It's still here. All right. It's still here. And, uh, That's good. Or if they're, are they, okay. So if there's a way we can incorporate both, but I don't know how we would. No, but I, th I think you're correct to make note that that is the museum, the Frederick County Mew Fire Museum. Okay. That one there. We'll make that correction on the map. You know, the heritage thing you have to have go through a process to get into the archives there. And I'm, oh, okay. I'm not sure if they're clear on that yet. Okay. 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 That's, that's all I have. No, I mean, just, I, I know it's hard. You know, everything's kind of together. Sweet. It's no fault of yours, no, just the way it's laid out. No problem. We can make these adjustments. Mr. Sweeney, is it okay to jump in? Yes. Okay. So sort of coattailing on Mr. Ritz, um, in... On Main Street, we have Vigilant Hose Company identified. Is that for the historic purpose? Is that is that the board's choice, or is it just for like a, like if someone has an emergency, they'd want to go to the fire company? Because if that's our thinking, then wouldn't we also want to list the ambulance company's location on Creamery Road? No, mm -mm. no, they're not. No, they're no longer there. They're all to combine together in the town. They're all up on the square here. So there's no support vehicles or no staff at the ambulance company building? All equipment is on the Terrific. It's considered an activity center now. Okay, so it's strictly that you, okay, all right. I'm glad that I know that. All right, I didn't know that before. All right, next item. Um, Commissioner Buckman, you mentioned the walking trails in the community park. Yeah. Would you want to see like a yellow or, mean, or a, a colored line for the walking? People don't know it's there. Sure, okay. Right past the last ball field. Sure. So, okay, where is this, on this is Community Park on the right side, okay. and Good. there is a, a very nice paved Perfect. walking path there that might be worth attention okay. because okay. It, it links all those Exercise assets. So right. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. So it, it does kind of emphasize that. Half a mile around. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, it's off scale. Yeah, that's great. We put a lot of money. It's over $100,000 in that walking trail and exercise equipment and blacktop. It would be nice, nice to have a photo of that to show, too. Mm -hmm. so we're, we're, I don't know how you would do that. Well, we've got... <laughs> we're tight on room, but we could put an inset photo right here. You know, if that's something you'd like to highlight, that's something we could do. Commissioner Buckman, do you, um, you want to see a photo? I don't know or? how you would get a photo of that. It's a really large we'll capture area. the idea of it. Yeah, yeah. You just have to take okay. a picture of the beginning of the path or the and or some of the equipment. I don't know. I mean, I think someone walking their dog. Um, my so. recommendation would just to be the like a colored path, because we do have a lot of pictures and it's really busy, so we want people to kind of hone in. Right. Sure. I think that was a good idea. I think that would work. That's reasonable. Can we do your path? Um. I'll, I'll jump to the, the multi-user trail. Um, the photo was taken by Bryce Sherbach, who's a professional photographer. I don't know if that was if, if he was contacted related to that. That's already been used in a magazine, so I don't know if you're if you got a green light on its use or not. Uh, so. That that would be Zach. Yeah, I can. Um, I got it from the EBPA, but I'll contact them. Okay. What's so, their What's his name? Um, Bryce. Last name is Sherbach. S H I R. B A C H. Uh, he grew up in town. Uh, he's a freelance writer and photographer, but this appeared in his his article in the National Magazine, Dirt Rag. Okay. So, but it's a great photo, and if we could use it, that'd be great. I would hope he would allow it, but 
Do you have his contact information by any chance? I could I, email I, you tomorrow. I, I might okay. have a phone number I can give to you. They have it. Okay. Okay. Um, always. They got his permission already. Oh, you do. They do. They did get it already. Plus got a brochure. Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. Okay. Well, that's great. Okay. Um, hey, one hurdle fewer. <laughs> Although it would be nice to know if if we require credit to be yep, placed I'd, on the phone, that'd be great. Um, trail length, uh, it's, we have 15 miles of trails, not 13. Um, there are links that are in there that connect trails. Um, the other piece is, um, again, you guys know me with my semantics, but, uh, enjoy mountain biking. I would ask trail running and then, or scenic casual hikes. On the other part is there are five separate trails, but they're not all loops. So I think perhaps if we were to say, you know, five separate trails offer varied terrain and, op and optional challenge lines. What? Okay, five separate trails offer varied terrain. I'm, I'm using your text right from there. It's just basically what you had said. I'm just changing it from three loops to five separate trails offer. Oh, okay. Um, that, that would be the modification. Um, and then what was the other item? Oh, when you go down to the inset in the map again, mm -hmm. there are two icons for hikers. Could we get a bike icon yes. for those also? Yep. Um, sure I think that would be valuable. And Typically, we identify parking at Rainbow Lake. I don't know if that's realistic or not for the scale of what you're showing here. So, but um, maybe that's a non-starter. So I never said that. So beyond that, um, <laughs> if we could get if we get bike icons in there, sure. And you could also put them further into the area, into the the green here. So, but that's like you know, with the hikers. You know, bike and hiker, bike and hiker, and then, you know, maybe bike and hiker over here. Because mm -hmm. it, it goes on to the land all over. Mr. 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 Donald. Uh, yes, sir. I thought horses were allowed on there, too. It is a multi-user trail. Um, the problem that we have with horse trailers is the turnaround for the horses. The trails. Are horses allowed on there? They are allowed on there. Should they be shown as an icon? Oh, that's a good idea. If you want to encourage it, sure. Yeah. Yeah, horses. I but, think that's uh, why we use multi-user. Then, then I would encourage <laughs> Mr. Mayor, we we do the parking lot so we can have a turnaround area for the horse trailers. This is that was a recommendation from Mr. Haller, so I'm <laughs> I'm sticking with that. He's not here. He's not here. Yeah. I know. Make <laughs> <laughs> an Uber up. I, I do have I something that I think is really important. Um, I'm friends with Ronald uh, Judas. And I really believe his name is spelled J-E-S-U-D-A-S-S. -S. So I'd like to, before we do anything, that we make sure, because he's a very proud man of this photo. That's a definitely the correct spelling. I did email him, and he emailed me back his name, exactly how he wanted it. And I just copied it and pasted it to okay. Ruth. Okay. Any other questions? So, no, I'm not keen on seeing the horse icon there. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have horse. horses. That's how it was approved. I need a motion to approve the Emmitsburg uh, I, um, oh. kiosk as amended. Do we want to see it again? Or are we going to just go roll forward? Last time we saw it again with the changes. I would, I would yeah. If you want to see it because with the changes first? Sorry. No, that's fine. Can you, you review a, a PDF and, and get edits to, to do that through Zach? Well, I thought we just did the edits right here. I thought that's what we've just done as a right. board. So because we, we can't, because the, the trick is we can't do it individually and send it to you. We have to do it as a collective body. Okay. And we have to do it in an open forum. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've just done. So. So I need a motion to accept the kiosk as amended. If we're going to put it in as presented here now, and we amended it. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you go. 
I, I will make a motion to approve the kiosk as amended. I need a second. I'll second. Motion has been made by Commissioner Blanchard, second by Commissioner Ritz. Any more discussion? So are you asking that they create the, they move forward to create the, the, the placard without us seeing the, the final draft? What they just said? I, well, that's what I'm, I'm, I want to confirm. I want to hear it from you guys. I'm a couple words and the pictures are all staying the same. Right. I mean, you can change, my opinion is, you can change this every time you look at it. You can add more, take more every time you look at sure. it and see something else. But we didn't, we didn't do that last time, though. I mean, I think we, I think once we saw it come back to the board, we were satisfied that the changes were made, and I don't think there were any modifications after that. I think we just wanted to just do a little QC on it. Scary. Okay. Yeah. So the only thing that we're changing is a couple little blue markers and well, some words. We're not changing any pictures? Everything else is staying the same? You're no, it's, it's not. Mr. Sweeney, I, let me count. Um, we have two changes, three changes in Memorial Park. We have yeah, some markers. We have uh, a trail being added in Community Park. We have an icon being added to Community Park. We have uh, two icons being added to the bike item. We have multiple words being changed in the Emmitsburg multi-user trail. Uh, we still have to vet the photograph. I think staff wanted to do that to be absolutely certain. So we're looking at about nine to potentially ten changes that might include the photograph. And Mr. There? Ritz says I missed one. What did I miss, sir? The fire, National Fire Heritage Center. Oh, and that, that would be, I believe, ten then, or about ten. So that, that's... Horses. Just so I add it, I mean, you know that won't come back to you until about July now with everything that's happening. June is already full. May's budget. So you'll see it back in June or July. Um, my recommendation would be, I mean, yeah, there are changes, but there's such minor changes that um, if you approve it as amended, staff, I mean, you trust your staff to review it, and it's the changes, because Zach has written down ex absolutely everything that you guys want changed, and if it's not changed to our satisfaction, then we will reject it back to, to uh, Ion Design and then bring it back. Are but you okay with that? Okay. I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm just I'm sure, just sure. No, no, no. I, I, no, I'm aware of that. I'm. I'm I good. like for it to be up but for spring. Yeah, Commissioner for Buckman, you're okay. Protocol for our tourist fine. system. We right. Well, that's a, yeah. a new town. I, I mean, this is fine with me. Uh, you're fine, and, and and that's kind of where I'm going on this. I mean, we we did have a protocol that we set up, so we had a review, and we had a review, and that final review was to our satisfaction, and we move forward from there. And that's just I'm trying to be consistent procedurally on my end, personally, and related to the board. And Commissioner Buckman expressed a concern as well. So that, that's all that I'm. That's all that I'm going on. I mean, awareness, maybe sure. Not a concern. Right. I, I'm. I have confidence that staff will make the corrections as needed. But I like for it to go up. Me personally, myself, sure. we like. We just the, the town is now finished. The square and stuff. And sure. Everything. Sure. Sure. And it'd be nice to have this up. I agree. Okay. And Zach does have another opportunity to proof this before it goes into fabrication. So. Terrific. That's okay. my, I was going to ask that question then. So let's say we do approve this tonight with the, the, the changes, mm -hmm. and then it goes to you to, to mm. do your thing, and it goes to fabrication. When would it be ready for so, installation? So what we would do is make these edits, send Zach a PDF, get his approval, then we get the files to the fabricator, and it takes them a week or two to get a paper proof printed at a reduced scale. He reviews that, and I would say four to six weeks. To the so signs it, installed it, uh, for delivery so up to six weeks for fabrication and delivery and, is it? Um, this is going to be in the square mm -hmm. and we have a quite a nightlife in the square is it going to be lit that was not part of our project that might be a, something no. to think about Oh, well, it's not going to be lit. I mean, the, the kiosk that was there it was never lit either. Um, it's you've got very the challenges of now. running is it bright? electric. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's right there. It'll be right there, um, the close to lights. the square under the lights. Okay. I think it should be fine. Okay. Um, one thing staff can do when we receive the final and, and we've reviewed it and approved it, what we can do is send it out for you guys to have with no comment and no, you know, just so you can see it. To re so you rest assured that the changes were made. Mm -hmm. um, that's fine. That's fine. Well, we will have a horse icon on there. 
I mean, the local people up there have I think horses. It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about their trailers. I mean, that's the way we originally approved opening up that area. Be open to all trail use. Okay. Mr. Briggs, my only concern is for every hour of trail work that we've done that's been organized and sanctioned by the town, we have not had a single horseback rider as part of it. And, and I've reached out to groups. I've reached out to local residents. Okay. And, and I've yet to see that. And, yes, it is a public facility. But... Um, I really do have concerns about that because, as you say often, we want to see people with skin in the game. And I, say that. I, I, I don't want to discourage it, but at the same time, I'm reluctant to encourage it. I, I truly am. Um, it's just that we design the trails to minimize user conflict, so horses are part of it. Right. Um, I, I don't feel that it is exclusive of, but like I said, we have put together thousands of hours for trail work, like sanctioned by the town, put together lots of volunteers. And truthfully, I have yet to see a horse organization or horse person at one of those events, you know, come forward and say, you know, I, I'm an equestrian, I'm an enthusiast for it, and, you know, I want to throw in in this context. If there are people out there working on it singularly and such, you know, so be it, but I'm not aware of it. Well, that I don't Mr. think Buckman. if we put that little horse there, people yeah. are going to come galloping in. Correct. No <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> April but Fools. I do think yeah. it's, it's sure. nice for people to have awareness that sure. maybe, maybe one that. day I could use that. Terrific. And it also brings awareness. This is what it doesn't really there. forbid it. It's just it's yeah. there as an right. option. Sure. Well, put an icon. No, I'm certainly not forbidding. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Of course not. No. Yeah. We can't. We, are, we approved it to be that way. Well, yeah. Not approved with no horse icon. What's that? I said it got approved with no horse icon. I thought we haven't. Agreed. We haven't actually voted oh, yet. Oh, you didn't actually vote. No. Okay. Nice try. Lost, I guess. Sorry, Zach. I think we should put a horse. <laughs> I don't. Mr. Buckman would like a horse icon on there. What's that? I, you want one on? I yes, do. No. I think I, it's a good idea. Mr. Blanchard. I, I think it will bring oh, awareness to the area more. <laughs> well, we have a disc golf icon. <laughs> oh, good point. We don't have that yet. That's not installed yet. Sorry, this is. Hmm. Are we doing the horse icon before we vote? Mr. Blanchard, yeah or nay? <laughs> <laughs> not no that big no a deal. It. It's not that big a deal. Um, we have to. We I, I, I think, it, you know, the way the trails were developed, I mean, it's an option. I mean, I agree with Mr. O'Donnell. I don't think we've actually seen any trailers up there. I'm not sure if it's actually really a horse-friendly trail, to be honest with you. But I think the way the money was approved, I think we put the icon there and just leave it. I, I don't think it would be a very popular option, personally, for people riding horses. Having walked those trails quite a bit, I really can't imagine riding a horse up those trails, to be honest with you. They're kind of made for bikes and, and people on foot. But, you know, if, if that's what we need to put on there, I think we should have the icon there. Mr. Buckley. I agree ride. with Glenn. Commissioner Ritz, you got two yeas. I. <coughs> God, it's not. Yeah, yeah, he's nice. Well, it's not this hard. Yes or no? That's oh. all you have to do. I, it, oh. No, it's not. It's not that hard. But I'm just gonna say whatever we're gonna do, whatever we're gonna do with it, because I, I, I honestly, I, I actually agree with Commissioner O'Donnell that we set the precedent last time, so. I would rather have this sign come back anyway, whether it's got a horse on it or not. So that's my take. We have to vote on this, whether it's going to have a horse on it. Or you could abstain. It's really your I'll abstain. Commissioner O'Donnell. I abstain. I'll vote yay. We'll put the icon on. Three horses. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Thank three, you. three yeas and two abstain. Two abstains. Right. No yeas. <laughs> okay. All in favor of the of the motion made to accept the kiosk as amended, please say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Any nays? Nay. Nay. Okay. Motion passes three to zero. Three Ruth, to two. If you don't yeah, mind, can nay. we reiterate everything that they want, nay. just so nay. we're clear? He said nay. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> you know, horses. Come on. Have, uh, 
uh, uh, President Sweeney, <laughs> if we could, before we go into the next agenda item, can we just reiterate what we believe the board wants, just so we, we get it straight? Because we don't want to make the mess up the verbiage. So She's written everything down. Maybe you can compare. Are you okay? Can you Ruth? read back what you have? Yes. So we are going to reduce the number of baseball symbols in Memorial Park to two, one inside and one outside of that huge area. Yep. We are going to add a pavilion sign symbol and a picnic symbol at Memorial Park. Mm. We're going to correct the title for the Fire and Rescue Museum on the map. Mm. We're going to highlight on the map in the I have a question. <coughs> way back, way back to Memorial Park, we're adding a pavilion. The picnic area is on. Yeah. Pavilion is on. We're not adding a playground. No, we are. I, I missed adding, that. I thought you were adding both. We're adding both. I just heard pavilion. I have this <laughs> pavilion sign and picnic symbol. Playground. playground. And playground. I said I didn't hear you say that. She did. Okay. All right, well, then if we're putting a pavilion, see, then there's a pavilion in Memorial Park, but we're excluding Community Park then. Yeah, and it has playground too. Exactly. It doesn't have a pavilion over there, though. No, but we need one to put there. But we didn't vote on that. <laughs> you can add it. Add a pavilion sign on that Community Park also. This is why it needs to come back. Playground symbol. It only took a few minutes if it comes. Is that an ADA accessible playground or just right here? It's standard playground. Standard. Oh, is it ADA? Is that accurate? Really? Yes. Thought it was. It's ADA. Yes. It's okay. ADA. Okay. Would, do we keep the ADA over here? Okay. Okay. So you do care. Right here. You're ADA playground person. and picnic <laughs> area. Yes. If you just put in that empty gray green space, that'll cover that. See the little green space there in the middle? Versus black and white. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, so right here. Yes. <coughs> there, that's fine. So this also ADA the compliant. Yeah, the Silo Hill. Picnic um, area. Oh, so okay. Emmett yeah. Gardens, and I don't know about Silo Hill. And that's what we need Those to find out. Neighborhood playgrounds. No, they still count their town. But we already have Emmett Gardens on here. We already have Silo Hill on here. Oh, I see. So I'm just trying to. That's actually open to the community, mm -hmm. unlike Northgate. Mr. Sweeney, what? Um, I have a question for town staff. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. As well, it's a mm -hmm. quick question. Um, Emmett Gardens and Silo Hill are sure. are both of those ADA compliant parks, or is just Emmett Gardens? They both are. They both are. Okay, so. Do we want to list those also as ADA compliant? Well, this is the, the ADA accepts accessible playground is the walkway, but then the future construction of the all accessible playground. So it differentiates itself from one that's accessible. It okay. has the walkway up as opposed to the one that's going to be in community park that's going to be um, an all inclusive playground. That's a good point. 
So if that's a future thing, then do we also want to include? Well, it's all it's already ADA accessible. Okay. Um, but we differentiated that one because it is going to be the all inclusive um, playground. Okay, it will be. It will be. Okay, so I'll ask the board then. Do you guys have any interest in seeing ADA with the other two playgrounds in Emmett Gardens and Silo Hill? And if it's a future thing in Community Garden is our standard. Do we also want to include the the disc golf course? I wouldn't change the two parks because the only thing that makes them ADA accessible is the walkway. Okay. Um, there is no ADA um, equipment, equipment yeah. in equipment. it, so I wouldn't okay. add that language. Okay. All right. Either one of those. Okay. So, for disc golf, does anybody want to see that as a future item? Mm -mm. It's not complete yet. No. Yeah, I'm not sure how formed up that is yet, to be honest with you. And okay. you, you applied for grant money for that. You don't know if you're going to get it or not. Right, we have not received uh, okay. don't know word yet. The grant okay, and the other one's locked. There's always going to be changes. Yeah. Sure, sure. No, I just, I'm just Yeah, we've to be already see, received a considerable amount of um, grant funding for the oh. accessible playground. Okay, great. So we know that's going to be. Okay, so that's locked. Okay. All finished? Totally. Yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> That's always unclear about that. All righty. Thank you very much. Great. And Thank you, Ruth. They will be sending everyone a, a copy of this so you can Good. see it before they print the final. Thank you so okay. much for being patient. <laughs> you tell me it was so funny. Mm -mm. <laughs> What's next? Oh, yay. Hmm. Here you go. I'll kick it off. And then Okay, item nice. number six, adoption of the cross-connection control program. So I'll um, turn this over to Zach real quick. What I had him do um, in response to the last meeting, uh, page 26 of 46 is kind of a um, cheat sheet for the ordinance itself. It goes over what is a cross-connection, why are we doing this, how does it affect you, um, the town permit, what do you need to do to renew it, how much it costs, and if there's penalties. So we created, or Zach created the um, cheat sheet, and we also included the email from MDE, which, um, from Zoe Goodson with MDE, and I'll just read this. As we discussed, cross-connection control programs are required for all community water systems in Maryland. Um, and that's what was the driving force to start um, to develop the ordinance. And then um, on page 28 of 46, she answers our question, do all residents need to have a cross-connection backflow preventer, or is it just high-hazard commercial industrial uses? And MDE's answer, which we received uh, last week, was yes, it's typical to have a double-check valve in the meter pit for residents. So... Um, and I'll turn it over to Zach now. You want me to go over all these? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to kind of go over the seven different um, <coughs> facts here. So what is a cross-connection? So cross-connections are the links through which it is possible for contaminating materials to enter a potable water supply. Uh, the contaminant enters the potable water system when the pressure of the polluted source exceeds the pressure of the, the, the water source. The action may be called a back siphonage or back flow. So why are we doing this? The Maryland Department of the Environment is now requiring all governmental organizations uh, who have water systems to implement uh, this program in order to protect the water supply from pollutants. MDE may fine the town until we implement the program. How does this affect me or a resident? Um, all properties in the town will be required to install a backflow prevention device immediately downstream of the water meter within three years from the date of enactment of this ordinance. So do I need a town, do I need to obtain a town permit for this? Yes, after in installation, the backflow prevention device must be tested and approved by a certified uh, backflow device tester. The tester must then complete the second page of the permit, um, which certifies that the device is working properly. Do I need to renew my permit? Yes, the town considers residential users 
uh, low hazard and commercial and industrial use is high hazard unless determined otherwise by the water department. So low hazard uses, permits for low hazard uses shall be renewed every 10 years. So residents need to do every 10 years. And high hazard uses, permits for high hazard uses shall be renewed every two years. Um, how much will this cost me? For new installations, um, parts and labor should cost, this is for residents, parts and labor should cost approximately $100 to $150. Uh, per backflow device, uh, residences should only have one. Staff suggests that owners obtain two or three quotes before the installation. For reinspections, labor should cost approximately sixty to one hundred dollars. Cost will increase if the device needs repaired or replaced. <coughs> and for town permits, low hazards, uh, so residences, they will be exempt from paying permitting fees. For high hazard properties, they must pay $25 for new installations and $15 for reinspections. Uh, is there a penalty if I do not follow the new ordinance? Yes, the town is required to turn off the water to properties that do not follow the ordinance. And this is for protection of the water supply. And if there are any questions. I have some questions. Um, last month, when you, am I jumping ahead? No, you go. Last month when you brought this up uh, there wasn't a it had to be done within three years it was anytime there was a new um, mm -hmm. any kind of <coughs> change to your plumbing um, so that's a little bit different and it was supposed to be sixty dollars to put the new back flow meter in and now it's a hundred and fifty and I'm mm -hmm. just wondering why did it change from last month to now? Well, first off, we received clarification from MDE that residents are required to have a backflow preventer. Um, in an effort to ease the burden on, on everyone, uh, we thought three years from the enact enactment of the ordinance was sufficient time to allow somebody um, to install uh, the backflow preventer. Um, the cost was just an estimate when we were trying to figure out how much a plumber would charge for the work. Neither one of us are plumbers. Um, so that's where the $60 came up, up came from. Mm -hmm. After doing some more research and making a few phone calls, that was about the proximate 100 to $150. That's why we recommend anybody that's going to have the work done to get quotes. Don't go with your first okay, quote. Okay, so this money's not being paid to the town. No, this is paid to your plumber. This is not paid to the town. The only thing that's being paid to the town will be from your high hazard uses, and that would be for um, $25 for your first permit, and then every two years it's it's only $15. That's a permit per backflow? Yes. Yes. If you have that, like 10 in one facility, If you would have 10, but I couldn't imagine you'd have 10. I don't even But, yeah, this is not it would, it, it's per, per backflow. Preventer. Oh, Mr. Sweeney. Yes, Commissioner O'Donnell. Um, question for staff for consideration uh -huh. and for the board. Um, we've done the voluntary rain barrel item where the town made the purchase, or somebody made the purchase. I can't say it's the town, I don't recall. But when we did that as a town, we used our collective purchasing power for an economy of scale to reduce the cost of those rain barrels. Um, would it be would it be, are those what those are sorry i'm tired okay um with the backflow cross connection controller device the cross connection device um would the board be amenable to considering at some future time making a purchase in bulk of these and have it as a you know a means by which we could subsidize part of the cost mm -hmm. yeah. for residences and businesses I believe the problem with that is going to be each residence is unique and so there will be a variety of different backflow preventers and commercial entities will take different size backflow preventers. Um, I don't know with the three year window um, that it's something that we could even do. I, I don't. Would, would the board give consideration to that idea though? Sure. We could. I. <laughs> But I, I, I like to take it a little bit further. Sure. You know your plumber. I don't. Go ahead. I don't know if the if if you know, a lot of people wouldn't if if the town's going to require it. Maybe you know maybe the town could get the a 
a certain plumber and have them install it and everyone's home as they need it uh -uh. as as it gets so many a year and have that cost put onto the uh -uh. water bill itself added to the water bill what do you mean like we can't we like can't put it promote, out the bid we can't promote businesses and a plumber uh, um, install it and then we would pay for it through the no i mean like the town this you said like the town payments. the town get a plumber like put it out to bid yeah oh okay or okay. I, I don't know that we. I, I see what you're saying, like a request for a proposal kind of thing. Um, like they could come back to provide the service to the town. Like you could you could privatize the service of having the installation done. So basically, as a town, we hire a staffer who is a plumber, who does that for each household, each each business, and that way we cut the cost because if it's every house. Because the town's making us, everyone put it in. Correct. I mean, it's mandatory. It's it's correct. It's it would be mandated. So Stanford, like a subcontracted. To make sure every employee. single house is done. Well, for example, the town could put in a position for a part-time employee, okay. who would have certain hours in which they could install mm -hmm. the yeah. product. Okay, and if if it can't be a standardized product based on each household, you know, but by privatizing it, we reduce the expense dramatically to the households, mm. potentially. Yeah. Um, it's like you know your garbage service or it's some other service you know somebody bids for the opportunity to provide the service or we just hire a person outright as a plumber you know as a town to do that singular task and we just schedule it as a part-time employee nope. Until the whole installation uh -uh. Is done. no that's so, huge liability um that i mean and that ended up costing you more than if you want to go out and buy them are all we, we're concerned about having it how would too expensive how would it be a liability though so because you got none of our staff go in and do work inside somebody's residence yeah, except to install a water meter well, and then so you send them in to do work on their water lines inside their house but and isn't this a form of water wrong, meter though and then it's going to fall on the town then to have to fix it all well then what if it's not a staff member and what if it's a a a, a, a plumber and promoted by us not promoted but we put it out to bid it's it's almost like you know every year we have to vote on the trash service or however often that comes up. It's kind of the same thing, kinda. You know, it's it's like an outside company doing a service for the town. And then isn't this also a meter device that we're putting in? Is that no? No, it's just a it's, it's like a, a valve. valve. It's a valve. It's okay. a check valve. It's one okay. of the, All right. It okay. shuts. As soon as the water goes through, it yep. shuts. Okay. So won't let gotcha. Anything back through. That makes sense. Once the pressure is off the line. On another note, someone like the Basilica, that's They're why does it have to be a, a permit fee per backflow? Why can't it be per business? I mean, why do we need all that money? I mean, it's it's this isn't something that just, you know, we we have to keep these books in line and be sent to MDE. There is well, staff time like and there's paperwork that have to be done and. For the initial installation, staff has to go out and inspect it as well. So you well, have to recoup the <coughs> loss. Up to five backflow. I mean, no. that's. Well, there, those, those over there are probably going to already have them more because they're all new installations. The the nursing home and the the uh, new um, mm -hmm. senior they homes over there, the they all have the back right to have to get the permit. That's what I'm talking about. Is why does it? Why can't it be like? Why does that have to be per backflow? I mean, that could get expensive for somebody. Staff is only proposing, you guys can decide what you want to do with oh, it. Okay. It's only proposals from the staff. You know, our job here is to take care of the town, um, of the town's water system, and, and the town's financial. Um, the only reason I'm bringing it up is someone came with a concern about it. That's why I'm bringing it up, because he's not here now to speak. Um, but I would like to look at keeping it not so expansive or expensive for a, a you know, they're a donations organization, and that could get quite expensive for them. How many do they have? Like the Seton Center or whatever. They only have two. They have two. They already have two. They have two already. Well, what about the Basilica and that whole they thing? Have, they'll have the, theirs is probably all new, too. And home name. Fire with sprinkler permitted. systems, you have to have back for preventers anyway. But it's I, to be permitted. Right. You still have to pay for a permit. I reached out to George Brenton, who is responsible for the grounds and uh, the maintenance of everything. They have 22 backflow preventers. He's very, very supportive of this ordinance, how it's written. How about the fire academy? Are they included too? They only have two. They only have two. Oh, they have the whole place? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. That whole St. Joseph's building? No. Yes. 
and the they, fire company, Vigilant fire. Hose, has two. Oh, I was thinking about. And they. No, 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 we weren't talking about the fire. We were talking about the fire academy. Oh, it is. Oh, the fire academy. We don't have a record of the fire cat. Oh, up up there, it's a. Um, are they hooked to our water system. Yes, they are, and they. Oh. Dan, Dan said it's a. Um, let me see one second. Open system, so they don't need to get it tested. <laughs> it's an air gap system. So that, what that means is there's no connections. So it's just so that it doesn't have to be tested. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we need. Uh, I have some questions. Yes, Mr. Ritz. I'm a little confused on the permits, so help me out here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. High usage. Okay, so it's like a business. So every every two years, the business would come to the town office and obtain a permit. Correct. Correct. Okay. So as a as a residence, I would need to get a permit once every ten years. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's in number five in your in your seven seven mm -hmm. list of seven items. Yep. Um, in number six, how much will this cost me? regarding town permits low hazard properties are exempt from town permitting fees so this is a separate permit so it's, it's on the same permit form it's just going to say low hazard high hazard dan's going to check that but i'll be able to tell when they come in if it's a residence or it's a business okay so within three years i would need to obtain a permit from the town to have this backflow installed correct and then 10 years from now just have somebody check it just off. check it correct uh, somebody has to come to the house the yes. plumber and do, does what he does and then checks it off and i give the paperwork to the town planner exactly i don't owe anything a, a permit residents fee, won't owe anything okay. though can we define water systems i understand like the town of emmitsburg has a water system so this is mandated by mde is this just it's a governmental organizations who have water systems so obviously municipalities so does county what is a water system like a, a like a, muni a municipal water system yes Treat. Treat. Yep. so you yeah. provide water to your community it would be all water users i lost count the number of municipalities in frederick county is what eight, nine eight or nine no. nine are they all on board with this now or do they have are they meeting the requirements of the MDE? Or are we the only holdouts? Middletown, I know for a fact, has it. Um, other municipalities, I don't think, are ahead of the game right now. Okay. But MDE is really hammering down as they do their inspections. And we only, we're only doing it because they came up to do um, a surprise inspection of our water plant, and then we're up reviewing our um, policies this isn't the only thing that we have to do to satisfy that inspection. So that's how we found I, it. They hadn't notified us. We wouldn't be talking about it today. And I, I will say a vast majority of the businesses that have the um, prevention devices on them currently, such as the firehouse, they already submit their um, inspections every year. Uh, that's a county requirement. But now MDE is requiring us to have it. So the counties every year, we're every two years. Okay. We're the ones responsible for the, the paperwork. So you have to still go in there and inspect it even though the county is? Uh, if Dan has a question on it, if he doesn't like one of the numbers, he does, inst he does look, for, look at it. One so more. they're paying two permit fees, one to the county and one to us. Well, the county is just the inspection. So they could hire the county to do the inspection, and they would take care of both, really. But they would have to pay our permitting fee, yes, for filing. For $15. Well, I have one more question. Yes. It, it's similar to what Commissioner Donna was asking. Um, similar to it. But, okay, so the wastewater treatment plant was mandated by the MDE, and we, we installed it. Very expensive um, building process. And we offset it. You know, we put the solar fields in to help offset that. Um, I think that was part of it. The 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 lagoon storage over in that air, that area as well. Yes. Um, that wet that was for it as well. And 
It was the second thing. I, there were other other grants obtained yeah, to help to help with the cost, correct? Right, right. Did we did we look into seeking potential grants just to have like a a fund set aside for this because it's mandated by the state? Grant granted, it's not on the same scale, but similar um, type. Right. As far as I regulation. know, MDE doesn't offer any grants for this. Um, they have a clean water grant, and that's actually what we're using to submit for the new pumping station. Um, so there are no grants that I'm aware of um, that we've read through any of these. Um, they sent us some guidelines and links about the backflows, um, but no, there aren't any grants that we're aware of. Have we investigated any um, other municipalities in Maryland outside of Frederick County, who, who, what, what, what they've done to help ease the burden, so to speak? Middletown pays theirs, pays for everybody's. Well, the town pays for it? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Middletown has a much higher, um, larger well, what if, operating budget. Yeah. Is there some way we can look at it possibly, let's say for me, I can't afford 150. I, I live paycheck to paycheck myself, that you guys would help pay for it and then I'd pay you back $10 a month for a bill. time period in the water bill. I don't know that that's a Just word. as a courtesy that we still pay for it yeah I don't know how you would do that I, I don't I don't know how you would well we could look into it I don't know if it's $50 a ton for each quarter no I'm talking about the 150 to install the thing no, no, you're both saying the same thing he's he's talking about a payment yeah. plan for what you're proposing yeah I, I that's what he's saying oh. for I just we'll get four, four, four bills a year and then you would add pay to the water bill right but she said they can't do that's not building but Middletown's done that. Has Is that their Middletown process? That? I don't have the particulars in it, but I know that they, I don't know how they did it. They, I don't know if they we bought asked. them and then the person installed, paid to have them installed. We would have to look into that further. Um, but their operating budget is probably about 10 times larger than our town's. Mm -hmm. well, we have 10 it, times less people. I'm just saying, let's look at well, it. I'm, yeah, but we still have to make well, ends meet. I'm not saying. <laughs> Saying that we're going to take, let's just look. I at wouldn't it. say us possible. pay for it. I want us, the homeowners, pay for it, and their water bills. You know, fifty dollars more a quarter. So if it's one hundred fifty dollars for the piece and the fifty dollars to install it, <coughs> that's two hundred. That's fifty dollars a quarter. You know, you would add on to their water bills. Uh, the only reason why I would see like the town to do it that way, it's all installed, and then you know every single house is installed exactly the way you want, because the town's doing it but the homeowners and the business can still pay for it um yeah well, like i'm sorry what what about the new water meters because I, I know after i moved in to my residence on north seton i think it might it might have been i think it was jimmy and i forget who was with him when they put the new water meter on so then all they have to do is do the remote right. control they they came in my basement. I mean, they asked permission to do so. I was like, yeah, go ahead. You know, so. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, staff installs the new water meters. There's no liability issue there, is it? There's only the, no, because there's the connection there. They're still coming um, into the house. That's where the connection, wouldn't that, isn't that where the backflow would go, right? Like in that area near the water meter where your water's coming into the house? Yeah, that's where it goes. Hmm. Okay. So Mr. Sweeney, uh, would we direct the board maybe to, sorry, um, would we have the board rather direct staff? We, we, I don't know what, I don't know what you would, I think they need to. May I, may I speak for the yes, with Mr. Mayor. staff for just that we, we have to make sure we can accommodate whatever it is that we want to try to do. We, we have, uh, you're going to need a master plumber to do the work. We can't hire a part-time plumber. Uh, um, we don't have we're working in a situation where we probably need more staff but we can't afford it and uh, this is not something we want to do and it's something else that's been dropped on us but that's the way it works in the state of maryland uh, and uh and it's really and uh it's a health it's a health it's a health question for uh to protect the people who live in their houses and uh mm -hmm. And they, if they buy a house, you know, if, you know, if, 
you have equipment in your house, uh, hot water heaters and, and everything like that, then, then, then it's yours. Uh, Hopefully the new houses that just wait, were built can't yeah, be and, and, and we have uh, approximately 800 houses here to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, and, again, and it's given people three years. And it's, it's just, I'm not so sure it's something we really want to get, get in. It's like a tar baby, but we get involved in that oh, thing. We're, we're, we're not going to get out of it. I mean, we can extend. I mean, we, we I don't said want the three town years. To pay for it. No, I mean, I, if you want to move it, give them five years. I mean, I think that'll satisfy what MDE is looking for. You know, we <coughs> thought three years was reasonable. Actually, Zach said five years at first, and we talked about it. Um, well, it'll all be done in five years, in the, in the fifth year. Yeah, I think that's. <laughs> so three years is not from MDE then? No. No. Nope. What about the other requirements for inspections? Is that from MDE or did we do that also? Yes, the inspections, everything else was from e, uh, MDE. Uh, we were coming up with the timeline that would be um, to ease the burden and um, satisfy everybody's. What is their window? They didn't provide a window. They wanted it done like now. It sounded like it was needed to be done yesterday. Right, they, the, well the program now we're needed going to be from three implemented years to five. yesterday. So when does the when do the penalties start? Well, yeah, whenever they feel like it, I guess. Um, no, we just got that e we got that letter in in the first part of January. Um, I can't imagine they're going to come out and I think if they come back out for their inspection in six months, twelve months, whenever they come back out again and we haven't done anything, then that might raise the red flag. But I wouldn't expect them to find this yet. Every municipality is going to have to do it, but I don't know when they're going to do it. You got some in worse shape than we are. Yeah. Uh, those towns smaller, and out in Hollywood, um, Woodsboro, it's you know the in town part. Uh, I don't know if New Midway has main water line or not, but there's a lot of little small, mm -hmm. smaller than us, and it's going to have a problem getting it done too. But I'd say five years is better, cause since. Agreed. A good 70% of, of Emmitsburg, I know a good 70% is Liz paycheck to paycheck or low income up here. And, and obviously, I mean, the water department here in the office, they're so accommodating and so reasonable. If somebody's at their five year window and they're absolutely having problems, they just, they need to call and talk to staff and let us know and just don't ignore it. Um, you know, staff is always willing to work with them on their water bills, uh, any leaks and repairs that You'll need to be done. Let them know that when you make the statement. You know, count, you know, please call us. I just think that at some future point, we're going to have to create some sort of safety net. And the safety net I was thinking about is this notion of a payment plan. And, you know, I, I understand that adds a layer for everybody. But the reality is the reality of who the people in town are also. Mm -hmm. and, and, and with the state's not going to stop. There's going to be other requirements. Correct. Well, I, I also think the state's, you know, if, if they're not providing us a hard deadline also, other than getting the ordinance in place to avoid penalties, you know, I, I think they're, for lack of a better term, I think they're playing ball also. Um, but I think, you know, we, we want to be accountable to our community. We want clean water. We don't want to poison anybody. We all know that. I don't think anyone's fighting the idea of this 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 valve device. Uh, I just think the question is, the the fiscal burden it's going to impose upon people. Um, my hope is we can come up, if not at this point in time tonight, we can come up with some means by which we can provide an easier way for them to afford it over time. You know, time payments, and 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 then there's a burden there. There's a very real burden there, and that's the idea. Why I was talking about like. You know, having a part-time staffer who's assigned to the task. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to overburden the town, and I'm not talking about a part-time plumber who's like a part-time plumber. I mean, someone who's a professionally qualified plumber and is a master plumber in skill, and you know, documented, you know, in, in all the trade professions. But somebody who would be employed by the town, who might help us subsidize the cost. But you know, if that's, that's off, if if, the, if that's off the table with the board, so be it. But I think if there are other municipalities that have. If there are other municipalities that have a pay plan, I think it's worth looking into. I think it's uh, imperative that we look at, look into it. I think we, we have a moral obligation. The town's not going to have one at all because they're putting all theirs in themselves. 
possible. Paying for it. Yeah, they are. Right. He just but you know that for a fact. Okay. Pay plan right. with a valve, one of these valves, but any kind of service that their their people are required to do that they help ease the burden by a payment plan it doesn't have to be for this backflow preventer I mean I, honestly I, I'm not saying everyone doesn't pay their way everyone pays their way yeah. it's just the means by which they do it we have to define I, I'd like to see us help and maybe there is even a, a general way that we can ease any kind of requirement where it doesn't have to just be these mm -hmm. but some way that we can help make it a payment plan on the water bill for other things that are required by the state in the future. It doesn't have to just be this. Yeah. All righty. <coughs> so do we want to make a motion on the five-year I think plan? that's a good idea. Oh, Mr. Pre Mr. President, the, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but the, the other question is you have to provide money for that if you're going to for the, if you're going to be repaid, somebody's got to come up with it and stuff like that. We have to maybe do some budget stuff. Uh, that's and, uh, but um, uh, I think going out five years, I mean, you don't have to do anything for five years. What we could do right now, though, is uh, do, 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 possibly you could take some action that if any houses are sold now, we not notify the Frederick County Board, um, Board of Realtors that... Uh, you know that they have to collect this fee, or it has to be installed before the sale. Yeah, because we just sold two new ones this month. What? We just put two new homes in this month. Oh yeah, but they they've been backed out. But I mean, the other houses that are being sold now in the community, maybe they should be, be the older homes. Yeah, they should be. They should be. It should be enforced with them in order to go to settlement. You ought to have this backflow thing right. in there. So that whatever. There, there are ways to try to accommodate the, the burden with everybody and a lot of generous organizations around. <laughs> so I need a direction for staff. <clears throat> what would you like? Mr. Sweeney, I suggest the five-year window. And um, what we discussed last time, what the mayor just brought up also regarding uh, the rollover of a property you know, make that a requirement of the sale if we can if we can impose that. Right. <coughs> you, the, there, there are things you can do. I've seen it with different jurisdictions on contracts that if you're in this one, you must have this done. Sure. All new homes, all new homes and resold homes. Right. Before they can be sold, have to be have the. We, we, we need to check. Backflow preventer put on. We have, we have and to look in. by. The town has to see it before they sell their home or change a title yeah or whatever yeah let, let's let us work with and see if we can uh, so mr mayor are you suggesting we we direct staff to investigate that that process it probably be better for me to check around and i will work with always with the staff because i'm a broker and a real estate broker and kind of uh see how you how you bring this about so you want the board to direct the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> no. do, we can do that. You always do. You know, have your back and call. You know that. <laughs> you're so but you're going to you're going to we're, we're going to direct staff to put make a new uh, draft of five years. Of what, pardon? Five years, correct? Yep. Everyone wants five years. Yeah. That's, that's that sounds big, reasonable to me. Yes. I'm that's the big play. That, yes. That's the big play, Mr. Ritz. Yeah. And I'll yeah, check on the other one. And all new homes, all new homes, and and resold homes will be asked. Uh, well, I'm going to check. Well, that try, you know, yeah. in the new draft. That, that exchange of property. Yeah, really got that go occurs. The valve is installed. <laughs> right. Um, we're also going to look into payment plan. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to direct staff to change this to a five-year. Right. Good. Thank you. Plan. What is it called? Five year is it approval with that. Um, I'm okay. To, I didn't know we were approving it. Yeah. Uh, with the also with what the mayor is going to try to get to. No, he the, doesn't want to add that until he finds out. Correct. <coughs> let's, yeah, let's go with that as new, an amendment. And new homes already are required to do it. Okay. So, okay. Um, so what we can do is we can adopt it, okay. and then once the mayor finds out about the resale, we can always bring an amendment back. Okay. Um, so with any changes. Right. 
So I would like to make a motion to accept the adoption mm. of the cross Cheers. connection control program with a five year um, <coughs> requirement. Install. Install requirement for homeowners. And businesses. It, it's more than just homeowners. And businesses. <laughs> yes. I, I need a second. I'll second a motion. Motion has been made by Commissioner Buckman, second by Commissioner Blanchard. Any more discussion? A quick item for clarification with staff. Oh. Businesses, residences, nonprofits. Is that a so third? It's all. It's it's not Is even that... broken down to businesses, residences. It's okay. low, low hazard, high hazard. Okay. It's all water use. So we're yes. sat so that's satisfied. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. All in favor? Any more discussion? No. No, sir. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Nay. So it's four, four yeses and one no. Motion carries. Just because. Sure what's, can I ask? Why? I think the intent's good, but I just think of it over there. Hey, perfect sense. It has yeah. nothing to do with the town. No, 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 yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> okay. It's all the same thing? Yes. Oh, please. Adoption of the Cross Connects program fee. That's the $25 fee and the $10 fee. Is that what it is? Where yes. are you on what page? That's just to establish the fees. This is for the $25 for the business to pay for the first permit to get, and every two years they would pay $15 for I them. That was part of that whole thing. We have no, to have a policy a to a set policy. the fees. What page are we on? 42. 42, 42 of 46. You're almost there. There it is. Okay. We have to talk about it, or can we make a motion? No, the, the fees are already there. They just we just need a motion to accept the fees as twenty five dollars. And I would like to make a motion to accept the fees of twenty five dollars um, for new installation for high hazard, or fifteen dollars for a permit renewal for the cross connector control program as presented. Motion's been made by Commissioner Buckman. <sighs> <laughs> I got so much stuff running through my head right now, you, you don't know. Um, is there a second on the I mean, the second. Second. There's second by Commissioner O'Donnell. Any more discussion on the fees? Adoption of the fee policy. Maybe I will be here. Okay, sure. hearing no. <laughs> Any more? <coughs> All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any nays? That's tough. I'm, I'm saying nay only because I voted nay last time. And for clarification, I just want to clarify that I'm voting no because I believe that the intent is good. However, I know it's coming down from Maryland, and I think it's just. Um, excessive regulation that's going to be a burden for everyone in town Good. that's the only reason why i'm saying no yeah. motion carriage four to four to one 100 percent agree and we're postponing agree. agreement <laughs> mr ritz thank you for clarifying sure truthfully that's that's i appreciate your candor <laughs> okay number eight oh my. agreement related to the proposed community park nature trail for consideration mr Slaughter. Is that what it is? Nature Trail? It's postponed. Oh, it's postponed. I believe, I believe the mayor, um, you reached out to Mr. Slaughter. We uh, recently had, I read the proposal and I got a hold of John Clapp um, to uh, work on an agreement, um, which he kind of struggled through, so I never actually got it. Um, in the interim, we have, as you know, we're looking for MS4 credits and the area where um, the botanical garden is being proposed, um, the best option for the town is to receive credit for the MS4 and satisfy our permit is to create a wetland in the same area that um, Mr. Slaughter's garden was proposed. Um, the wetland would consist of trees and specific plantings. Um, we're supposed to be getting more information on what we can do to get the MS4 credit and then also hopefully work with, a, hopefully we can combine both projects 
but we didn't want to move forward with the botanical garden if we can also design a wetland and satisfy the state's requirements for our MS4 project. So are we trying to get it in with this, this planting of this season? It probably will not happen this season. Does yeah. Mr. Slaughter have another proposed area that he would consider? I don't so know. He, it's time to plant, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you, know, you sort of go through this process, right, where you, know, you plan accordingly. And uh, our intention was to begin planting. Oh, I, we're here. all tired. Sorry. Give your uh, name and address, please. Slaughter, 66 Robindale Drive, Emmitsburg, Maryland. Uh, good evening. Uh, we'd intended to plant back there for a specific purpose, which was to add some color and to bring in some native plants to the area to sort of enhance the whole process and uh, bring in some wildlife, which we thought would be beneficial to the area and beautify the, uh, the park as well. So that was the intention. And the sooner we can get on to planting, the better, because the planting season begins in the spring. So I guess the question is, is if that's going to be postponed, at least for several months or whatever, is it advisable to uh, just save that effort and plant next year or to look at an alternative? and we hadn't really looked at any alternatives so if what you're suggesting is we should do that right now is we could perhaps do that I leave that up to you just, just well, mr. mayor just real quickly uh, we had a visit by our people who are doing our, uh, we always feel like that the wetlands up there ever since I've been here it looks like it's almost like it blends into the headwaters of willow run it's it's in that that general vicinity and uh, uh, they we had a visit after your presentation last and they felt that they really wanted to go in there and work and when I, like i called you i said we were like both of them to go off at the same time but we like to get this design get the credit for it and then go along with your garden i mean you get you you probably have the same native plants that will grow in a most likely yeah in a wetland that, it that, just that delays our effort i think but that's and, fine and and, and it, uh, we get grant money and uh, it's a great idea you have it is. Well, uh, I mean, we intended this to benefit the community. So, I mean, we'll work with your schedule one way or another. Yeah, it really they're, doesn't they're matter. They're waiting for the recommendations to come back and what, what, what's going to happen with the new program okay. that they're getting Fine. Done. Thank you, Wayne. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sweeney? Yes. For staff, do we have any idea when they're going to come back with uh, more information from state related to this? So basically, we have to complete the baseline and previous assessment first, and then I'm going to reach out again. They're just waiting on that number, okay. and then they're going to come back and reevaluate based on how much acres we need to, to do. So they have to test the soil to make sure it's uh, formidable to that. Okay. So perfect world scenario, end of August? Before we actually do anything, just when till we know when we have some senses to our like where we could go moving forward. I would say August or September. Okay, thank you. Until we have a better understanding. Okay. All right. Okay. Stay in Maryland. Agenda item. Okay, agenda item number nine. Number nine. Approval of the pump station engineering contract for RK and K. Yes, as um, the previous meeting, uh, the board approved um, RK and K as an engineering firm for the construction of the new um, pump station on Creamery Road. Um, we received their contract and um, need to have it uh, approved by the board. So what I did is I went through the contract and made some <coughs> bulleted areas. Um, the contract was reviewed by um, our water and sewer superintendent as well as John Clapp. Um, John Clapp had no comment. He said the, um, the uh, contract, everything was in line. So basically it's a contract for professional engineering services for the planning, preliminary engineering, design and permitting, as well as bidding and construction phase support and some resident construction inspection for the replacement of the town's Creamery Road pump station. Contractor provides the insurance limit, re provides all the insurance insurance limits. This was reviewed by John Clapp, and all the limits are sufficient 
and I listed the insurances they're going to carry. Um, when it comes to suspension um, by the owner, the owner may subs suspend the project for up to 90 days upon seven days written notice to the engineer. Um, by the engineer, the engineer may, after giving seven days written notice to the owner, suspend services under this agreement if the owner fails to pay, has failed to pay engineer for invoice services and expenses. If there is a reason for termination, it can be terminated for cause by either party upon 30 days of written notice in the event of substantial failure by the other party to perform in accordance with the terms thereof, hereof, through no fault of the terminating party. Both of these are standard language. Um, John Clapp said was, was also sufficient. Dispute, resolu <coughs> <coughs> Dispute resolution. Owner and engineer agree to negotiate all disputes between them in good faith for a period of 30 days from the date of notice prior to invoking the procedures of Exhibit H or other provisions of this agreement or exercising their rights at law. Um, the indemnification, this was all reviewed by John Clapp, and they're all um, sufficient. Um, the basic services, they'll prepare the preliminary engineering report and environmental report. They'll submit this to USDA for review and make any necessary changes to bring into compliance with USDA res regulations. After USDA acceptance, they'll prepare uh, preliminary design phase documents and furnish the town um, three copies within 120 days for review along with an opinion of probable construction costs. So at that point we'll have an idea of what the construction costs will be. Then they'll move on to the final design phase where they'll prepare, prepare the final drawing specifications indicating the scope, extent, and character of work to be performed and furnished by the contractor. Um, then you'll have the bidding and negotiating phase um, they'll assist the town with obtaining bids for construction of the new pump station. They'll attend the bid opening, prepare the bid tabulation sheets, and assist in the evaluation of the bids. And then during the construction phase, um, I highlighted all the uh, things they'll take care of during the, um, in, uh, the uh, construction phase. The, um, they'll assist with the permitting. They'll attend all the progress meetings. They'll assist with the selection of a lab, um, review all the schedules, visits to the site and observe the construction, reject any work if necessary, uh, prepare field orders and change orders. Uh, they'll review applications for payment from the construction contractor and accompanying supporting documentation. Uh, substantial completion, once notified in the company of the town and construction contractor, they'll visit the site to review the work and determine the status of completion. Um, the compensation for services, um, their bid was $189,100. There's the breakdown of what makes up um, their total bid. There was an additional request by the town to have one on-site residential projects uh, representative, one eight-hour day per week for um, construction inspection, which then is an additional $17,680. Um, and as I mentioned, the contract was reviewed by the town attorney and town staff. And uh, we're all satisfied with the contract and their scope of services. So we need a motion to accept or can case bid? Mr. Sweeney, can I ask a couple quick questions? Yeah, can we, okay. can we do the motion stuff first and then have discussion? Can we really want to do it that way? Sure. For the, because we all, and then we just have a discussion, you know. And then okay, we'll sure, absolutely. Um, I make a motion to accept the bid as presented in the sum of $189,000 payable to RK and K for services defined. 100. You missed 100. I'll second the motion. 189100 made by Commissioner I'm sorry, $189,100. Motion has been made by Commissioner O'Donnell, second by Commissioner Blanchard. Thank you. Now we will have a discussion. Commissioner O'Donnell. Thank you, sir. Um, Ms. Willits, I'm going back to the conflict we had with RK and K, I believe it was them, and the construction company of the wastewater treatment plant when we had a piece of equipment that failed, and each entity was blaming, the, one was blaming the design, one was blaming the... GHD. Is that who it was? Okay. GHD was the engineering firm, okay. um, and the dispute was between GHD and Conowago. Okay, so the construction firm, right? Not the manufacturer? Correct. Okay. Correct. So do you feel that this contract has enough in it for the 
to address circumstances such as that related yes. to? Yes, okay. absolutely. In, in, in an effort to protect the town? Yes. Okay. Uh, That's the, why I kind of highlighted some of those areas about right. suspension, termination. Okay, so you feel that we have enough uh, armor in that period, in that context? Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, the second piece is, and, and this is sort of goofy, but um, the staffer on site, I think it's a great idea. Is it literally the person is there from the start of the, the workday to the end of the workday one day a week, or are they going to break it up to little nibbles per so they already had in their contract, and I don't remember off the top of my head, so many hours for a project inspector to come in and out. Right. So we asked for an additional eight hours. Okay. It doesn't have to be eight hours one day, you know, just you're okay. there from eight to four. It can be broken up, and, and then we got additional time built in. Okay, so you, are you satisfied that there, that on-site inspector is going to be there enough so we have a hand in in the process to monitor it? I believe so, yes. And I think they're amendable to if if it's not enough, we could get more hours. Okay. It obviously, we'll be billed sure, for it sure. with an hourly rate, but it's there if we need it. Okay. And for clarity's sake, that individual is a quality control person and they are also advocating for the town? Yes, is they that, will be the, uh -huh. they'll act as the owner's representative. Okay, so. Yes. And, okay. They're so, there to protect the town. But, but I guess in our representation, and this is, I guess this is what I'm trying to get at, is as a representative, they could be there as just a witness to see the process, or are they going to step in and say, no, we need to fix this. You're not, follow, you're not satisfying what the, the nature of the design is. You're not satisfying yes. the spec. Yes, exactly. Okay, they're going to stick up for us. Yes. Great. Well, they're okay. going to stick up for their design. True, true. All right, so yes. Which in yes. turn then is going to stick up for the town to okay. make sure we get a quality uh, building. Great. Thank you for clarifying that. Mr. Sweeney, thank you. You're welcome. Commissioner Ritz? No, I'm good, thanks. <sighs> Commissioner Buckman? I'm fine. Commissioner Blanchard? Nope. I don't have any questions at this time. So, all in favor of the motion as presented, please say aye. 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 Any nays? Okay. Motion carries 5-0.